everybody, welcome to the Black Sheep Props channel. I'm Steve and I'm here to teach you the tips, tools, techniques, and materials for building your very own super cool EVA foam props. Now in our last episode, Making an EVA Foam Medieval Mace Part 1, we constructed the whole handle. You saw us embed support inside of it so it's rigid. You saw us sandwich it, you saw us shape it, and you also saw us wrap the head in steel and do our steel fins for the top. Um, everything went down perfectly. Piece of cake. This build is so easy. So easy that we're going to wrap it all up in this second episode. In this episode, making an EVA foam medieval mace part two, we're going to finish the build, put the spiked collars on, put the metal cap on the end, do the wrapped leather twine on the end, and we're going to seal it with Plasti Dip and paint it to look rustic and old and wood-like. So, if you're ready to hit it, let's make something. Okay, now super easy. We take our pieces that are gonna be our metal bands and we wrap it around and we make our mark. So we're going to bring each one of our pieces in, we're going to line them up, we're going to make the mark, we're going to bring it in, we're going to line it up, we're going to make the mark, and now we've got all three marks on there. And we're going to come in in one cut, all right there we go. All right, they're all sealed. Give it a few minutes. Time to stick. And we're gonna come in. Don't stretch it, because if you stretch it, it'll be too long. You wanna just lay it down. So you wanna get right there and right there. There we go. Line the end up first so you know it matches, then you can push it down. Yeah! Okay, now we're going to heat seal all 12 of our spikes. Now remember, we didn't sand them because we wanted them to look a little bit rough. And that's it. Look at that. Nice, shiny, tight foam. Now we're just going to do that for the rest of the 11 and then we can stick them. Alright, now we're going to put a puddle of super glue down. There we go. We're going to come in and we're going to Stick it down till it bonds. We're going to hold it there. Nice. I just keep going. Sweet. There's one side. Now we just do the rest of them. That is too radical. All right. Now what we're going to do to get this end piece is we're going to have a thick piece of foam. We're going to cut this pattern first. Then we're going to flip it over to the side and transfer the pattern to that side. So what we're going to do is we're going to cut off the squares first. That's a nice little angled piece right there. Now we're going to transfer the same template to this side. All right, there we go. We made the two side cuts first, then we rolled it over and transferred the template and made those two cuts. Now we've got the bulk of our cool shaped handle piece done. Now we're gonna go in with the Dremel and we're gonna round it all off. Got our dust mask on, cause we're not a dum-dum. Mm. 
There we go. Nice shape. Very nice shape. And we're going to smooth it out. Beautiful. Now we're going to come in with our 220. Smooth it out even more. And it's pretty hot. Got to look awesome. All right. Now you know what we got to do. Woo! Clean up this mess. Give it five and then pow! Contact. There we go. We're going to make sure we got good contact, which we do. Look at that. Slightly, just a slightly flared end to it. You saw how we did that. We cut it in two different directions on the bandsaw and then we dremeled it off. Now we don't really care about this seam right here because we're gonna wrap it with what looks like leather. Put a little bit of super glue down. Wrap this real tight and hold it there for a second while it bonds. All right, there we go, stuck on. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go right around our handle and strike a line just like that and then we're going to wrap this and hold it while it bonds and we're just going to do that all the way around the handle okay there we go we have our leather strap wrapped all the way around and we have this extra piece and we have this tiny little area in here we're going to come in and we're going to attach this little piece right in there so it looks like it's a tie at the end like that we're just gonna get some on the edge right there, like that. We're gonna spin it around. We're gonna fit it right in there where we measured. We're gonna hold it down for a second while it bonds. Now when you're holding it, it looks like it's got leather that's been wrapped around it and tied. Hot dog! Boy, you could bam! You could smash someone right on the head with this and uh, hopefully they don't make the sad mistake of trying to reach their hand up and block you because then you can just ah, with the spikes right through their hand. Very cool, nice. All right, we're out and back. We're gonna seal our medieval mace with Plastidip, as we always talk about. Must wear the respirator even when you're outside. Ooh, yeah, there it is, sealed with several coats of Plastidip. Look at that. Man, is that cool. Really easy to coat this one. Uh, not very many little hidden areas, so that was easy to layer it up. Now we're ready to paint it. All right, so we're going to come in with our Tamiya tape, our modeling tape. We're going to cut some thin strips. We're going to wrap around the edges of these little metal collars right here so we can have at it with the silver paint.
That's it. You just keep cutting. Cut a couple little pieces just like this and like that. There we go. Use the straight edge. So line it up right on there. Just like that. And we just keep going all the way around here. We've got our cardboard. It's going to get a little bit of silver down there. All right, there you go, check that out. Now we don't have complete coverage because we want a little bit of the black to show through so it looks a little aged. It also makes it look a little bit pitted, like the metal's pitted a little bit. That easy. And because of the sponge, it doesn't hit in all the crevices, so the crevices stay a little bit dark, which helps it with a little bit of an aged feel. This is how easy it is. Just go around the whole thing. That's it. Look at that. You just keep going. Keep tapping. We're going to tap up here around the end. See that? We leave the little black crevices. Get the edge of our tape up. Whoa! Man, is that cool. All right, here we go. We're just gonna come in, we're gonna hit around here. Remember, try not to go too heavy. We wanna leave some of the black showing through. So we're gonna get a light coat around a lot of the area. Now we're gonna come in with our brush. We're going to come right up to the edge, use the square edge of our brush. Just like that. All right, there's the head, the bands with the spikes and the handle. All right, now we're going to come in with our brown. That's it. Just keep going. We're going to cover the handle. All right, now we're going to come in with our brush and we're going to get close up to our bands like that. Just take your time, get inside just like that. And we got the leather kind of spotted with brown as well. We're going to come in, we're going to get our, our brush fairly dry. See that? Just be kind of random. Hit around some spots. Heavy on some spots, light on others. Nice. Look at that. That's dirty. Starting to get there. We 
just dab it on and then you rub it. Dab it on and then rub it. And it gets the dirty look. That's a dirty metal mace head right there. Not too heavy, just little bits of brown and smeared around just so it's a little dirty. We got our metal dirtied up. We've got our wood color on the handle. And now we're gonna come in with some lighter brown. And we're gonna hit some lighter brown around in some areas on the handle to make it look a little bit worn. So it looks like it's been handled for a while and maybe a little bit sun bleached. And uh, we're gonna do that next. All right, now we're gonna come in with our raw sienna, which is a lighter brown than what we just used. Get it dry. Now we're going to do what we've done before. We're going to Alright, there we go. Just a slight little variation in some of the wood. Alright. Okay, now we're going to come in with black and a little brush. We're going to get our brush pretty dry and we're going to come in and we're just going to make We're just coming in, putting little tiny lines, nothing too heavy. All right, there you go. We did two tones of wood. We got the black brush in there. We hit some little thin little lines in here everywhere on the wood just to give it a little bit of that wood grain look, just enough to where when you flash it in front of somebody, it looks like a wood handle. All right. Totally easy. This thing turned out super cool and it was easy. Uh, that is just really cool. The three spiked collars, all the, the steel details around the head for smashing helmets in, and skulls while you're at it, and uh, our leather twine, our metal capped end, our detailed handle. You saw how easy the paint job was. And we did a slightly different technique on the wood texture using the thin black brush lines. Really cool. Man, this thing turned out great. Uh, so, that concludes making an EVA foam medieval mace part two. Hope you liked it. If you did, give us a like, share us with a friend, and subscribe to this channel. And together we're gonna go step by step through a lot more super cool builds so that you get the props you deserve. Thanks for coming. See you next time.